head over to Pitt Greenville today. Uh, we're going to get the prop balanced. And I just had to make a last minute change. The weather is perfectly fine here, but they've got IFR in Pitt Greenville right now. It's supposed to clear up by the time we get there, but went ahead and filed an instrument plan. Be on the safe side. To my knowledge, uh, the prop has never been balanced on this plane. Not, not since I've owned it. The prop was replaced a few years ago. I'm not sure if they balanced it then or not, but it's about $300 and in airplane money, that's basically nothing. They're balanced and see if that makes her uh, feel any smoother. Good morning, Concord Ground, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra. I'd like to pick up my clearance to uh, pick Greenville, please. Good morning, Diamond Star uh, 526 Delta Sierra, cleared to the Pitt Greenville Airport via the Knights to departure and then is filed. Maintain 3,000. Expect um, 7,010 minutes. Departures on 128.32 and squawk 7116. Yeah, cleared to Pitt Greenville, Knights 2 as filed. 3,000, 7,000 after 10 minutes, 128.32, squawk 7116. Reback is correct for 6 Delta Sierra and advise when you're ready to taxi. Roger that. 526 Delta Sierra. Concord ground 526 Delta Sierra south ramp ready to taxi. Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra runway 2 taxi via Alpha. 2 via Alpha 526 Delta Sierra. Alright, clear left, clear right. Runway 2. Alright, let's do our taxi check. Little S turns. Coordinator's working, heading indicator's working, and compass is working. Concord Tower 526 Delta Sierra holding short of two, ready to go. November 526 Delta Sierra, fly runway heading, maintain 3000, cleared for takeoff runway two. All right, cleared for takeoff on uh, two, runway heading 3000, 526 Delta Sierra. All right, on center line, feet on the floor. November 526 Delta Sierra, connect Charlotte's departure. Have a good day. How did departure have a good day? 526 Delta Sierra. Good morning, Charlotte's departure. Diamond 526 Delta Sierra, 1200 for 3000. November 526 Delta Sierra, Charlotte's departure, I did. I did. 526 Delta Sierra. Altitude. Number 6 Delta Sierra, Red Cat is one mile north of the Concord Airport. Carbon maintained 4000, leaving 3000 clear direct destination. I maintain 4,000, leaving 3,000, clear direct destination, 526 Delta Zero. All right, flaps are up, all our RPMs back to 24. The pump kick them off, do an initial lean. Out, very smooth air today, very nice change of pace. All right, there's 3,000, enter, enter, and we'll turn on course. Number 6 Delta Zero, come and maintain 7,000. I maintain 7,000, 526 Delta Zero. And, of course, we're flying directly into the sun. It is uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning. Now we're flying east. All right, so we're going to let the autopilot help us out here. Make sure i got everything going. Mr. Up, fuel pumps off. As soon as we level off, we'll check our lead again. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, show you much video of the prop balance or not. You may remember from a pre previous video, uh, the guys at this particular shop are a little camera shy and uh, not real fond of uh, being on YouTube so we'll see how much uh, I get but uh, I've never seen one done in person so it might be uh, might be interesting what you see me referring to is uh, a chart from the POH movie you see it on the camera there but uh, gives you the recommended manifold and RPM settings for 65 percent generally but I run it at cruise when I'm going somewhere uh, for the different altitudes uh, take some of the guesswork out of it supposedly that's optimized and then all we have to do is a uh, Dial that in and lean her out and uh, sit back. Number 526 Delta Sierra, contact Greensboro Altitude. Approach 126.6. 126.6, 526 Delta Sierra, if you did. Good morning, Greensboro Approach, Diamond 526 Delta Sierra, 6200, climbing 7000. Good morning, November 526 Delta Sierra, Greensboro Approach, Greensboro Approach, 29er, 98. 29er, 98, 526 Delta Sierra. All right, looks like there's a little bit of rain down in the uh, Greenville area. Uh, overcast 500, that's kind of low for my taste. 
hopefully that kind of blows through. All right, six Delta Sierra, contact Raleigh approach, 125.3. 125.3, have a good day, 526 Delta Sierra. Morning, Raleigh approach, 9526 Delta Sierra, level 7000. 526 Delta Sierra, Raleigh approach, that's number 2996. 2996, 526 Delta Sierra. Good day, number 6 Delta Sierra, contact uh, Seymour Johnson, approach 123.7. Good morning, approach, 9526 Delta Sierra, level 7000. Number 526 South Sierra, Seymour Perch, Seymour Summitter 2993, advise when you have the weather. Pick Greenville, say request. 2993, I'll advise when you have the weather. I'd like to do uh, ILS Yankee, runway 20, please. Number 6 South Sierra, Roger. Number 6 Delta Sierra, descend and maintain 5000. Got a 5000, 526 Delta Sierra. Number 6 Delta Sierra, descend and maintain 4000. Got 4000, 526 Delta Sierra. November 6, Delta Sierra, clear direct Kinnear, contact Washington Center 123.85. All right, direct Kinnear, Washington Center 123.85. Have a good day, Delta Sierra. Advisory is approved, and so far has it been um, a decent ride? Can you see the airport? Uh, negative. Okay, thanks, and uh, you do have one um, aircraft behind you, a Diamond 40, is waiting for a cancellation. Don't forget when he uh, lands. We'll do, four nine five up, Charlie. Good morning, Washington Center, 526 Delta Sierra, 4000. Dot com, uh, 2411, Washington Center, welcome. I am working on a hybrid, give me one second. Number 526 Delta Sierra, Washington Center, the Pickerings Altimeter, 2996. 2996, 526 Delta Sierra. Number 526 Delta Sierra, let me know when you have the weather, no temps at uh, Pickerinville, and were you planning on doing the ILS 20 uh, approach? Uh, probably the Island's 2 zero. we have the weather, bigger info, 5 to 6 no, sir. Thank you. Uh, you're going to be number two uh, behind a TVM. He's about uh, two miles from final now. All right, so what we had there was the autopilot had a trip so for fail. Just 60 contact Washington Center on 132.22. They'll have higher for you. So let me give you an update. The trim had decided it was not going to hold a setting. I would roll the trim wheel forward. Uh, as soon as I let go, it would just roll right back to neutral. So that required me to hold quite a bit of forward pressure on the stick because uh, DA-40s love to climb. So uh, to keep her level flight, I was pushing on the stick quite a bit. For a while, I tried just pushing the, uh, the trim wheel forward and just holding it in place. But as soon as I let go to set a radio or something, it would just roll right back. Uh, so the autopilot was my best option at this point. It held pretty well most of the flight. Uh, but at this point, as you see, the autopilot was having problems. It couldn't keep up with the trim either. It would roll it forward to do something. And as soon as it released, it would roll right back. So the autopilot was, was giving me a little headache too on top of all this. So um, you'll see future uh, a little farther in the video that again, we had another issue with it, but um, that's what I'm working with at this point, And that's why I'm getting these trim fail errors on the, uh, on the autopilot. It turned it off, reset. It's still saying trim fail, but it is holding altitude, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. The number 26 Delta Sierra, to maintain 3,000. Got a 3,000, 26 Delta Sierra. Check pitch trim. Check pitch trim. The number 318 Echo Lima, Check contact pitch Washington trim. Center on 132.02. Uh, Check zero, pitch two, trim. Day. Check pitch trim. Remember 526 Delta Sierra, turn uh, right heading 090 of X style approach. Remember 526 Delta Sierra, about uh, four miles southwest of uh, Kinnear, turn right heading 170, maintain at or above 2100 till south on the localizer. Clear to ILS, runway 20 approach, uh, pick Greenville. All right, turn right 170, at or above 2100 till established, clear to ILS, 526 Delta Sierra. Remember 6 Delta Sierra, just uh, report to south on the localizer, please. Wilco, 526 Delta Sierra. Washington Center, 526 Delta Sierra, I'm a localizer. Number 6 Delta Sierra, thanks. Uh, you can report your cancellation via fire on this free seat or your downtime's watch center flight data. Change your advisory script. Incredible traffic, 526 Delta Sierra. Leaving altitude. Incredible traffic, 526 Delta Sierra. Two and a half out, ILS 20, big Greenville. Autopilot. Washington Center, 526 Delta Sierra, we can cancel IFR.
Take Granville traffic, 526 Delta, clear to zero. Take Granville. Okay, so the whole point of this flight was to get the prop balanced, and once I got there, I really couldn't film a lot because I was actually in the plane running the engine up so uh, the mechanic could look at the readings, but it was pretty interesting. They mounted a camera to the front of the uh, engine where the hoist uh, mount would normally go, and they put a little uh, registration sticker on the back one of the props. I'd get in the plane, run it up to full power. Uh, the mechanic would read off of his little monitor what was going on. We'd stop the prop, he would add some weight, uh, via the holes in the flywheel, he put a, a nut and a washer or something that was the weight he wanted in a hole where he thought it would go. And then we tried again. And we did this three or four times. And every time we stopped, he would plot it on this chart. And as you can see, we started out all the way at the top uh, center. And our goal was to get it in the center of the bullseye. So we kind of just kept moving the weights around, changing the weights and checking it again. We slowly did kind of a spiral down towards the center and he got it pretty well. We went from the uh, fairly rough range, I think a 0.47, which is pretty rough, and got her down to a 0.05, which is pretty smooth. So it's very hard to get it to, to 0 0.00. Um, so he did a pretty good job. It took roughly an hour, hour and a half to do. It was about $300, so it wasn't that bad. Um, now, to be honest with you, could I feel the difference in flight? I've flown it a few places since then. Uh, I don't think so. You know, maybe, maybe I'm expecting too much out of it. But I'm glad I had it done. Now it's good. And uh, that was, like I say, the point of the flight, even though we ended up with 500 foot ceilings on an ILS and, and the trim failed. So we had a little, uh, little extra excitement on that trip. And by the way, they did also fix the trim when I was there. They figured out what the problem was and got that straightened out so the flight home was, was much calmer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.